Hey everybody, I'm back with a share, finally. <laughs> I, I made quite a few cards and it took me a long time to put them together because I'm a slow crafter and I took a break in between. So anyway, let me show you the products that I used before I show you the cards. Um, hmm, where did that come from? Okay, so I used some new stamps um, from the Greetery. This is the Written in Ribbons stamp set. And this is actually the insert that comes inside the stamp set to show you how the layers line up. So I use these, this stamp set. The Sketchbook Roses stamp set. Here is again the guide that um, comes with the stamp set so you know how, it, how it's layered because it is a layering stamp. Um, these are the dies for the Written in Ribbons. And um, this is the die for the sketchbook roses. Um, I made a mask out of um, masking paper. Uh, what I did was just die cut the actual die here um, to out of the masking paper so I could mask off my stamps and do the background stamping that I did. So these are the background stamps that I used. This one is from the, the stamp market. And this one is from the Greetery. So this is a new one that she had in her release. I think this one looks to me like a, what do you call it? A, a towel, um, a tea towel. Um, I don't know what it's called, but you can see it has, it even has a little, um, it's like a, not plaid, but it's in you know, little squares, but the design inside the rubber, um, you will see it when I show you the stamped images. Um, this set is from the Greetery. It's a postage set. Uh, I use the larger size. This is also from the Greetery. Um, I don't know the names of these. I, I need to start putting them on the packages because she doesn't always have the QR code, but um, she doesn't have the names on these on these die sets. So I need to start doing that. This Spellbinders um, Hemstitch Rectangle. Um, these are Gina Marie Designs. Um, dies. So I use this one. There's a square um, shape as well, um, but I just use the rectangle and this one also from Gina Marie Designs um, for die cutting. So those are the supplies that I used. I did have a bunch of inks that I used as well. Um, let's see. This Stampin' Up! Strawberry Slush, which actually looks more red to me. Um, this um, Versifying Claire um, Chianti. I also used this, I'm sorry, they're all kind of laying around here. Um, Paper Tray Ink Weather Vane. And did I use this one? No. Okay. Um, Alta News. Um, I used a bunch of the different Alta News because they have their four packs and they all coordinate. So, um, this one is Coral Berry, and I'll try and do them all, whoops, the lid came off that one, do them all as the color groups that I used. Um, Ruby Red, and there should be a pink one in here, a light pink one. Okay. Oh, um, the other color that I use is this Strawberry Slush. Um, so I think those are the ones that I use for the pink. Yeah. I tried some other combinations, but these are the ones that um, worked best. And then um, for the blues, I have the, or the teals, Mountain Mist, Volcanic, Volcano Lake, and Lagoon. Um, there is a fourth color with this, but I didn't use it. It's too dark. Uh, for the green leaves, I used... Uh, is this the one? Um, uh, Frayed Leaf, Forest Glade. These are the two main colors. And I think this was, um, Evergreen was used for the Written in Ribbons. And then for the Purples, this is one of their new sets that they have. Oh, here's the pink. Frosty Pink was part of the pink range here. So I'm going to show you that. And then for the purples, I used Pale, Mo Ma eh, Pale Mauve, Amethyst, and Grape Agate. Okay. 
I wish Ulta knew instead of this cursive writing that they have on their labels, they would just put it in a different, easier to read font. Because everybody will ask me, what were the inks you used? I can't read that. I just said them. So that's the only reason I did because it's hard to read this. Um, at least for some people, for me. <laughs> so for example, I, I die cut a whole bunch of the, um, ribbon sentiments. You can see that's happy. This one's hello. Uh, this one's happy, um, just for you. And here's some extra stamped, um, written in ribbon, um, inked up sentiments, happy and thanks. Now there is other sentiments in the set. So you're supposed to say happy, I guess there would be birthday or something else that goes along with it. Um, but I just use the die cut sentiments. So let me show you my cards. Um, there's a few of them. There's like 10. See all different colors. Um, so let's do the purple ones. So this uses that dark green color that I was sharing. Um, let me, let me just bring the inks back so you guys can see. Um, so this set of colors here and this set of colors here, plus the, um, weather vane make up this card. So you can see the darker green in here. Um, and, um, you see that die set that I used from the greetery. Now this is popped up where the sentiment is. And it is on, um, all the cardstock is either paper tray or stampin' up. Um, cardstock um, because that's what I had that matched the inks <laughs> um, here is another one just for you slightly different these are all pretty much gonna be you know very similar to one another but different in in the sentiments here is a third one I really like this um, color combo here and that is these two colors um, frosted Frosted Glades and Evergreen. <laughs> and then here's another. So I'm trying to kind of build up my stash again because um, I run out of cards when I'm giving. So I uh, want to build up my stash. This one is um, using the reds and the, the teals so the or the pinks and the teals. Um, Coral Berry and Ruby Red for the roses. Um, and then, and also the word thanks. And then the greens are for our mountain mist, volcanic, volcano lake in lagoon. Um, that's what does the leaves here. And then the weather vane is that gray background stamp. So again, I used my masking paper to stamp that background after I had stamped the sketchbook roses. I'm looking for it. And it's not an exact like fit to the stamp um, because it does leave that white space. But if you look here, this is all I did. I took the, the mask and put it down and then I stamped the background and then I lifted up the paper. So that's how I did it. Uh, and these remind me of like napkins. Um, I like, I like the way these turned out very vintage feeling. And that's actually what I kind of tend towards sometimes, um, is that vintage look. And these kind of like remind me of those, um, tablecloths that you can get today that are faded, um, because they're vintage tablecloths. Um, so here's a red one. And here's another red one. Oh, let me um kind of point out here too. This is, I don't know if you can see it. If I bring it up closer, maybe you can. Um, as I was saying, in the greetery background stamp set that Betsy put out, you can see them little tiny lines inside of the stamp. And that's on purpose, I believe, to give it that um, sort of texture that you would get from like a tea towel or something. There's this one. And for the cardstock, um, I'll tell you that this is Stampin' Up! cardstock. I know one color is Bermuda Bay. Um, and then I had another color, um, a darker color, which I don't know what color it is. So there's two, two different colorways. Let me see. I got them right here. So the red was the Pure Poppy from Paper Tray Ink. Um, Coastal Cabana is the lighter color. And then Bermuda Bay is the darker color. So, 
if you are wondering about that. And then the purples are different. I don't even know what the purples are. I think the purples come from the in color from a, a year or two ago. So um, that is the cardstock that I use. And the white comes from Paper Tray. That's um, their white stamper select. So those are my cards. I hope you enjoyed my share. I have quite a few made now. So I have some thank you cards and some just, you know, so saying hello cards. And I had a lot of fun making these. Um, a lot of these are popped up. So there's a lot of foam tape underneath. Um, and I think it helps kind of bring that pattern out from the die cut to make it look, you know, like a, a little, um, napkin or a tablecloth. So yeah, I was really enjoying, um, stamping this out and to do all of these, I used my stamparatus. Um, I have set it up so that, uh, all the layers, the two layers for the written and ribbons set are still on my lids um, these are the two setups for them so there's two layers for the for stamping the sentiments and they're stuck together gotta be careful um, you can see here so I just put a die cut uh, piece down let's see if I have it I don't know. I have it now. Um, I just put my die cut in as a template um, to hold down the stamps and then stamped away. Um, and then these are the um, layers for the sketchbook roses. Um, I still haven't removed them and put them back in the packaging, but I'll do that now because I think I'm done playing with the set. Um, and that's really my share. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.